work at the cathedral launching a new initiative that we're calling Convivium. And Convivium speaks to the idea of conviviality, of, of living well together. Too often when we think about the Christian faith, we think of it purely in terms of me as the individual with a relationship with God, or even we as a community with a relationship with God, forgetting that God is not just the God of human beings, but the God of all creation. And so to live a life that's within the kingdom of God means not only developing that relationship between us and God, it means also living well with creation. And we live in a time where we understand more and more that the way human beings have been living, especially for the past 150, 200 years, has in no way been in harmony with wider creation, with the world. We have global warming, we have uh, toxic rivers, we have mountains of pollution and waste, and we live lifestyles, we live in ways where we enjoy a level of affluence that we know the world just cannot sustain. The Christian gospel has, a, has something to say about this and about the way that we as human beings were created and redeemed to live in order to live well both with God and with creation, as well as with each other. So Convivium is, doesn't seek to answer how this is to be done, but to begin to imagine how we might do this, how we might come together as a people who try to live not only in the old way of putting it according to God's commandments, but also in a way that is in harmony with creation, with, with the world. Convivium is a broad spectrum of, of a broad initiative. We are beginning with the Convivium Fest Festival. And the Convivium Festival, which will be on the 23rd of June, will be a day that hopefully will be mostly fun, but will engage people with issues of sustainability, of conservation, conservation both of the natural world, but of our local heritage as well. Seeking to get people to think about how they can be rooted more deeply in the real world around them. The world, not that we see on television or in social media, but the world that we can touch, the reality that's all around us. Be that the people that are our neighbors or the natural environment in which we live the town, the landscape, and the history. The day is going to begin with a guided walk uh, that will go from the cathedral through Priory Wood, past uh, the Priory Well, up to the Creek with its spectacular views of the surrounding countryside and of the Brecon Beacons. This will involve uh, as well some, um, some reflections on the way, on, on water and the place of water and on nature. And this is being led by a group called Journeying that leads pilgrimages and day walks who have a lot of experience in this sort of thing. And so that guided walk should in and of itself be a wonderful experience. That then will be followed by a talk by the author Nick Hunt, uh, who has uh, just published a book about his searching for four of the named winds of Europe. After that, we will have our uh, Convivium Outdoor Festival, which will be the barbecue, a, a good old Carolina barbecue, uh, with all the traditional southern foods. Uh, there'll be local live music for that. And after the, uh, the barbecue, there will be a band from Brighton known as Hat Full of Rain, specialize in American and, and British folk music. Uh, you can hear them online, they're really good, uh, and that should uh, cap out the day. In the midst of all this, there will be activities for the kids that will seek to engage kids with, with the natural world around them, uh, and there will also be uh, participating charities such as uh, the Brecon Beacons National Park, Tear Fund, Christian Aid, uh, the Larsh Community, uh, and, and other groups that are involved in sustainability and conservation. If you would like to volunteer, there are links at the end of this video that will take you uh, to contacts who will help you decide how best you can participate.